All new at 5.30, arson arrest. Police arrest a woman for allegedly setting fire to a home in Miami this morning. 25-year-old Jessica Seabury now facing several charges. Police say she threw an item that exploded, causing the home to go up in flames. And when it did, there were squatters inside. CBS 4's Peter Dench found out the home was considered a problem by neighbors long before this morning's fire. Cell phone video from Miami Fire Rescue captures a blaze that guts this abandoned home on the corner of Northwest 68th Terrace and 17th Avenue, a house that neighbors say had been used by squatters and was much more than an eyesore. And that place is like a, the dungeon of doom, doom over there. It's like something you see off a scary movie. It's, it's terrible. Pretty much the whole neighborhood wanted that place to shut down. Like, look, because people was just like to say, hey, have their little parties, have their little get togethers, have their little rituals. If you want to be honest, you know, somebody, you know, God probably answered somebody prayer because that place was supposed to be shut down a long time ago. The fire may have been related to squatters being here. As we were arriving here, we understand that there was possibly some kind of an argument that took place with some squatters that are inside this single family home and as a result, a fire uh, was caused. The fire department says an unidentified woman may have tossed a flammable liquid or even an explosive device into the home. She's been detained and could be charged with arson. You can see just how extensive this, the, the fire damage is as a result of this fire. Uh, you can see how the actual roof is somewhat separated from the walls of the house. And that also led us to believe that some type of uh, small explosion obviously took place. Something obviously blew that separated the wall from the rooftop. Neighbors, including longtime resident G. Love, say they are alarmed. We need love in the neighborhood. This is tragic. Thank God nobody got murdered or killed, you know, but we need to keep the love. We need to talk to these people about love in the neighborhood. It was initially believed that two people, possibly children, were inside the home when the fire started just before midnight, but that was not the case. A cat, though, was killed in this blaze. Investigators are now trying to determine what was used to set it. In Miami, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.